What up, ZX4 Kali Forms to Rezzer Customs for making my helmet and um, to answer some questions, a Q&A for the Predator Wolf helmet. So um, just wanted to do a quick inspection for you guys. If you ever need any replacement inserts, you get the HJC helmet inserts for this. So I just cleaned this. So uh, this is what I normally run with. I get like the um, sweat guard or the heat out. These are the two cheek pads and the under pad. This is for my scholar rider, so I can kind of listen, make phone calls and whatnot. And the helmet itself, right? So um, some folks have been asking me about the the dreads, and I'm gonna let you know before you go on anything like. The, the bear claws have been tested up to about 170 miles an hour. You want to screw that in like real good, you know, and um, it will hold up. It Look, it's like a sponge cord, very uh, durable with the nylon to give it that shimmering effect. So luckily, Razor was cool enough. They hooked me up with some uh, backup um, dreads. And whatnot, but this will hold up. But make sure you screw them in. If you even have a little bit of a twist, the vibration is gonna spin like this, and it'll come right out on the road. So um, that's what's there. But inspecting the inside of the helmet, it's a regular HGC. All right, all the inserts are pulled out. That's my boom from my my Scala Rider. So when I'm, you know, taking calls and what have you but I'm gonna be putting everything back together in there but um, I'm trying to see if I can give you guys a preview of like the the view because unlike my other Predator Classic this has a better field of, of vision uh, I apologize for being long overdue and I have to wipe this thing down going so fast we kill a bunch of bugs on our rides up but um, yeah, also, you got the, the laser sight. It, it comes default with the LEDs, so you might want to make sure you, uh, make your intentions known when you're getting that. But, um, I'm going to see if I can put this together while, um, because I, I'm doing this one-handed, but, matter of fact, I'll put everything in, and I'll come back so you can see what the finished product looks like. All right, let's see. I gotta put. Alrighty. Everything pretty much snaps together. So, again, bear with me. Usually, use my right hand. Since I'm right-handed, so get a nice little snap. And you know this is high quality. If you get all the other stuff, you will feel the you'll notice the 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 um, attention to detail, and whatnot. You see right here, you got the tuck to put the lip in there and whatnot. So once I get that in, we'll get to the next part. All right, here we go. Every that's installed and. Just letting you know, got my earphones. I actually use earbuds when I'm going on real fast rides to kind of protect my hearing. Because it does get kind of loud when you're, you know, doing what we call uh, gangsta whooping. All right, so I'm going to do the cheek pads real quick. All right, got the one side in. Got my speaker. All right, just working with it. I wish I had camera girl here, but she went back to, to Rutgers, so... Uh, little by little, just gonna chop the video up until we're done. All right, so now we got the side cheeks uh, pads in. We got the head. That's a detailed look at the inside. And so you guys get a very comfortable, very form fitting. You got your fence in the front. Yeah, pardon some of the uh, wear and tear because I have been using it like every day. So, um, and lastly, you have a chin cover, 
but I highly recommend using it. But uh, you just place that right over here. And doing this with one hand really sucks. Kind of gives it that full discreet look. And then there you go. All right, so I just put my mount for the GoPro, but I haven't tested it yet. But the the helmet does hold up. It's not that it's not heavy at all in comparison to the old one. But you know that's um, that's my configuration. I'm pretty sure if you, if you have other HDC padding, it will and that's compatible. It'll definitely you know go with it. But you know just so you guys it answers. Hopefully this answers some of your questions. Um, you got the the button on the top with the spring feed. So that's what I got for you. This is Alex Lexus ZX Ninja with a little bit of an intimate look at the Predator Wolf helmet. Shout out to Rezzer Customs. Um, since I've been doing business with them, they've been very kind to me. Hopefully, I'll get to showcase a new model. Uh, but we'll wait and see. Um, waiting for September 11th for some correspondence with them. So um, check them out. Uh, if price is an issue for you guys, usually go for what they have in stock, like ready-made helmets with the standard coloring. Uh, usually you can get them for around five and some change. You know, um, if you want to go extra, then you're going to pay the extra, like for the laser light, the bear claws, things of that nature. If you do a video, they will give you a hundred dollar credit towards any other purchase and they also have a six percent uh, discount code that usually after you purchase is about it lasts for about six weeks but um that's what we got here and this has been Alex Lexus with the detailed innards of the Predator Wolf peace